Hello, welcome to Hook Unlimited. This week, we're going to be going over the semi-dense pack and all its variations. To get started, we're going to be using Trifecta Dark. This particular flavor is perfect and it's one of my personal favorites. As always, we're going to be using the same exact bowl as we've always been using for the sake of consistency. To get started, we need to achieve a proper cement pack and we do that by grabbing the tobacco and cramming it deep into the bowl until there's no more room for the tobacco. It's packed to the brim. Just as always, once you've achieved this cement pack, you're gonna go ahead and clear out the spire of the bowl because the tobacco inside the spire does not reflect the actual volume of the bowl itself. And you could go ahead and weigh the bowl to figure out exactly how many grams of your particular tobacco brand this bowl takes. We already know the bowl is uh, 124 grams of tobacco, so the difference is going to be the volume of the bowl itself. In this case, it's about 157, 157 grams. So 157 minus 124 is equal to 33 grams of tobacco. This is a little bit heavier of a tobacco leaf than the previous lawn leaves that we've been using. To figure out how to achieve a proper semi-dense pack, first we got to figure out the total amount required for a dense pack using Trifecta Dark, which was 33 grams total. Multiply that by 0.9 for 90% of a cement pack, which equals to 29.7 grams of tobacco. And then you multiply that by 0.87.5 to achieve the median between these two numbers to get the semi-dense. And you get 26 grams of tobacco. So that's going to be our goal here, to get 26 grams of tobacco. So we're going to go ahead and remove about a quarter of it, putting that aside. Now we're going to be using more and more of the actual tobacco inside the bowl. So we're going to dump the rest of it out and we're looking for 26 grams of tobacco. And I got the right amount off the bat. Go ahead and get, get rid of the remainder, put it back in the can because we're not going to be using that. And at this point you can clean out your bowl, which I'm about to do right now. Once your bowl is clean and you're ready to go ahead and pack the amount of tobacco you have reserved for the perfect semi-dense pack, you could go ahead and grab some, grab the tobacco and fluff it into the bowl. The fluff pack is ever present in every pack method. The reason this is important is because as you're pressing the tobacco down the top part gets pressed even more than the very bottom part because the pressure that comes from the top if if the tobacco is at a fluffy state you still have a little bit of aerated tobacco in the very bottom of the bowl this helps in the second half of the session as you have more heat coming into the very bottom where it usually has access to the least amount of heat Using the same method we've always been using and getting rid of stems that come up, we're going to go ahead and pack the tobacco to the rim. And notice as I'm moving the tobacco around, even though it looks a little bit dense and starting to look more and more like a dense pack, as it should, once it's evenly distributed, simply double check your pack, make sure it's to the rim. And everything is perfect. And I really want you guys to see the depth of this pack. There's gaps all around. You can loosen up wherever it feels a little too dense in order to achieve a correct semi-dense using Traffic the Dark. From here, taking out about a pinch of tobacco, just like before. Well, I'm putting it aside so you know which part you've used and redistributing that amount allows you to achieve a light semi-dense using the same method we've always been using redistribute it by moving the tobacco around fluffing it up and gently patting it down massaging it down so all the leaves fall in place and in this way we achieve a correct light semi-dense From here, go ahead and add the tobacco you took out back into the bowl so that you could have a proper semi-dense again. And simply adding pinch into the, into the bowl 
about the same amount that you originally took out to achieve a light semi-dense about this much a little less than this and redistributing that and massaging it down like you always have will allow you to achieve a heavy semi-dense pack which we have right here adding another pinch We get you to a semi-dense plus, which is the ideal optimal pack for Trifecta Dark. Clean your bowl up and you're good to go. And as always guys, if you're interested in grabbing the starter mat or the pack mat, you're welcome to go to ZaraUSA.com in the United States. You're welcome to go to ShishaGear.com and CaucusHookahs.com in the UK if you're in Europe. And if you're in Canada, you're welcome to go to shishanova.ca. And with that, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the subs. Thank you for all the shares. I appreciate what you guys are doing for me. Please continue. If you like what I'm doing, please comment. I need all the interaction in the world. And please keep supporting me. And find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Discord. Have a good one, guys. Thank you for watching.